Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about the real secret. Everyone says it's a secret. The real secret to building wealth and becoming rich. Kirby, I know you love this topic. I'll let you start this one off and then I got some thoughts on it too and some feedback. The real secret to building wealth is not a secret. It's just, it's talked about so much that people just don't believe it that it's given so readily it's really a secret that's out there in plain sight but it's so readily said that nobody believes that it has to be true they believe that the rich is in some secret bunker hiding out and sharing their secrets amongst each other and not giving it out to the masses they're giving it out to the masses but the secret that they're giving out to the masses is so left field or so 180 from what everybody else believe that they can hide it in plain sight and nobody will do it and i'm just gonna give the three now and then alex we can jump into it um the real secret is you can't spin your way to wealth no matter how people want to, and no matter no matter how people want to believe it or not i mean they got the saying it takes money to make money yeah, but you're not, you can't spin your way to wealth. The second thing is cash is trash. Cash is trash. And what I mean by that cash is trash is because you can have, forget it. I'll just go through them and then we'll just come back to it. And then the last one is taxes. Those are the three. Trying not to, well, figuring out ways to not pay taxes. Those are the life secrets to building wealth. Now, Alice, we can divulge or jump into each one of them one by one, but I'll let you start off. You can pick any one and then we can just jump into it. I really like the second one that you said. And it's because when I first started, I thought cash was like, like, I thought like, oh, I got to be able to look at my money, know that I have that there. And then at X amount of dollars, I'll be set. But the reality is bills will always come. Inflation is a real thing. And that's the other thing, like naive of me, but I didn't realize there was inflation. You know, I'm thinking like, oh, the American dollar is just solid, you know, all year. Round. <laughs> but there's, you know, there's a <laughs> there's a small inflation and uh, it is a hidden tax. But changing my mindset from thinking that way of you know i gotta save cash i have to hoard cash to now you know looking at cash as just a tool to buy assets has helped me create passive income for me has helped me build my net worth and it's because that's all cash is is you know unless there's something i need or that I really want to do there's not much that I feel like I got I got to go out and spend so I can take that money and I can invest it into an asset where there whether it's stocks whether it's real estate whether it's something I can purchase and resell and I can make more out of that to keep that ball rolling to keep that snowball effect growing and it's changing your mindset on that you want to acquire assets and not cash but Kirby, what do you have on that one or any of the other um the reason why and i'm gonna break the secret out on this video the reason why most of the you know the financially literate people literate people have a problem with dave ramsey is because they feel dave ramsey is holding the secret to wealth back and i'm a break it down for you real quick think of dave ramsey's seven baby steps all it is is to acquire cash i mean even if you invest in the stock market it's giving you 12 percent. at the end of the day is just acquire cash right it's but the thing is is if everybody followed dave ramsey baby steps will they have more money yes they will have more money they will have more money in their retirement years but is it highly probable that they will burn through that money in their retirement years? Yes. 
and this is the this is the thing that nobody talks about, but I'll break it out here on this video, is Dave Ramsey himself believes cash is trash. I'm going to give you the reason why I say that. Dave Ramsey don't live off his mutual funds. Dave Ramsey don't live off his emergency fund. Dave Ramsey lives off cash flow. He has hundreds and thousands of rental properties, commercial and residential and apartment complexes, because that is how he lives, the cash flow. Not the cash, the cash flow. And that's how he's able to build generational wealth that his kids and grandkids will be able to take advantage of. Yeah, the money that's sitting in those brokerage accounts and stuff like that, it gives you a sense of comfort. But those that cash, unless you take it out and take the tax hit on it, it's just there as a level of comfort. The cash flow that he gets from dividends, the cash flow that he gets from rental properties, the cash flow that he gets from Ramsey Solutions, those are the things that make him live a life where he can walk away from the nine to five job. Not and to build wealth. That's that's the key of it right there. It's not just the uh, oh, let's just find ways to accumulate a big number of cash because we've talked about it many times in the video. You can you can have two million dollars in cash right now at 40 years old and don't work. By the time you're 50, that cash is going to be at zero. So that's the thing that Dave Ramsey is instructing people to do is get a lot of cash. But that's why he gets a lot of pushback from the people that's financial literate is because they know that most people that follow the method, yeah, they'll have a lot of cash, but they'll blow through the cash also before their, their uh, lifespan is over. Yeah, so I want to specify. I, I, on you. I want to specify that too when you say cash flow because the Dave Ramsey community seems to think that cash flow is what you're saving every month. And, you know, oh, I go to work, I receive a paycheck, I pay my bills, I have cash in between. It's similar, but the cash flow in the wealth aspect is all expenses after, you know, for your assets. So you have assets, all the expenses after, and then what's left of that is your cash flow. And that's passive income. That's not actively earned income. Um, but yeah, I just want to like specify on that part because learning about cash flow is something that um, was different for me because someone that started learning from Dave Ramsey, once I started learning different ways and methods of investing and I learned about cash flow in those realms, it was a totally different, you know, is a totally different uh, way of thinking of cash flow. Right. And the next the next topic, because we can't sit there and harp on this one forever, is uh, we'll go with spin your way to wealth. What you got on that? Spend your way to wealth. Yeah, you can't spend your way to wealth. Um, spending is a big problem for people. They that is a big one that I see with people close to me. Uh, it's It's a very emotional thing. It's like people are like addicted to it. Like they cannot hold themselves back from just like, yo, don't buy shoes. <laughs> like, don't go out to eat. Don't do this. I mean, it's it's crazy to see that people have that strong addiction to spending and can't have the discipline. Or, and it's for me, it doesn't even feel like, oh, I have so much discipline. I'm just holding my money to myself and I'm not going to go spend like I have my goals in my eyes set on something more important. That's it. I look at my money as I want to take this money and I want to free myself. That's all I want to do. I just want to buy myself freedom. And in order to do that, I have to invest it. But I'm not like, I, I don't feel, oh, I got to go and spend this. I want this. I got to buy this. I rarely ever get that feeling and people struggle with that feeling. And that holds you back from becoming wealthy. Because until you can figure out, or not even figure out, until you can understand that you spending your income is holding you back from freedom or holding you back from having assets, you'll you'll be stuck in the rat race forever. Right. And people use the use the mantra, and this is why people don't believe that they, they think that they can spend their way to wealth is it takes money to make money. They figure, oh, if I look the part, then people will believe I am the part and then people will give me money. 
Um, one person that I always bring up, and I know it's a uh, it's a, a polarizing character, is Kim Kardashian. Everybody think Kim Kardashian spent her way to wealth. I mean, you know, they figure she got plastic surgery and all that stuff, and she spent her way to wealth. And one thing, that, and it's, and the reason why she's, you know, closer up there at billionaire status is not because she spent her way to wealth. It's because, and this is the thing that people don't know about her. So Kim Kardashian's stepfather, Bruce Jenner, uh, now it's Kat, I've, I don't know the other name. Uh, but at the time, it was Bruce Jenner, Olympic, you know, historic Olympic figure in the United States. He used to travel the world and then he used to bring back Kim, all this exotic stuff from different parts of the world. Kim, she was arbitraging before people knew what arbitraging was. So she would get the gifts that her stepfather would bring her and then she would go online and sell them for large sums of money. Kim Kardashian made her first million behind the scenes. Getting goods and reselling them for higher prices because most people can't travel the world like her stepfather was and find exotic pieces to sell. That's how she made her money. Not not the I mean that all the other stuff after that, you know, whatever she did, did she, you know, spend some money there to make it happen? Yeah. But the key is you have to understand how money works. It's no is no Lamborghini, because I, I literally know people right now that think that, oh, I have to buy a Lamborghini, so girls will think that I have money, and then they'll think I have money, then people invite me to high-end places, but you ain't, you still ain't got no money. <laughs> they're going to invite me to high-end places, then they're going to give me opportunities to make money. I know people literally like that. And these people ain't young in their 20s and 30s. These people are in their 40s and 50s. They still believe that they can spend their way to make people believe that they're wealthy so then opportunities will come. The opportunities will come is when you are, and I say this a lot, when you have the aptitude and you're proficient and you are disciplined and you're a good steward of money, money teams seems to follow you. But if you just out there blowing the bag all the time and think that's how you're going to get there, it's not. For most people watching this video, you haven't got there yet. You've been spending your whole damn life. Why don't you do something different? But spending is not the way to wealth. Spending is a way to get influence to make people believe you know what you're talking about. But eventually, they're going to see that you're full of it. And then last one, Alex, my favorite is taxes. So what you got on that? You should have led this one, Al Capone. So taxes are, uh, <laughs> taxes are a big one for sure. Now, guys, when we say not paying taxes, this is legal stuff. Now, you need to consult a CPA. We're not going to give tax advice here. Um, but there's no tax fraud going on here. This is all legal stuff in the tax laws that you can take advantage of for your businesses, for your real estate. Um, when you own a business or you own real estate, there are more tax benefits to you than being a regular W-2 employee. There are tax deductions, there is depreciation, there are tax write-offs, there are, you know, all kinds of business expenses. And, you know, there's even, I've heard some that are even cool as far as like, you know, some to some, uh, some tax deductions are even investments. Um, and so once you can learn taxes and keep more of your money for yourself and for your businesses and for your assets, then you'll see a lot of growth come out of that. That is one thing that I see with a lot of business owners that don't understand the full amount or the full potential that they have as business owners to take advantage of in taxes. They don't know all the write-offs that they're, that can be applied to their businesses. And they only write off a few and they're forgetting all the rest because they're not learning enough in the tax realm of things. So taxes are a big one. Kirby's guided me in this uh, process, but Kirby, I know you got a lot of info on this one. Yeah, it's it's a question that people need to ask themselves. I mean, people in a rush to get tax returns, we're close to tax return season. People in a rush to get tax returns and then give the government, you know, free loans for, you know, a whole year. But now if you owe the government, then, then they're going to penalize and put interest on you to the hilt. Um, but 
there's a reason why they're in the tax code. I mean, it's funny that everybody always talking about, oh, Americans need, American people need to pay off debt, but the American country never pays off debt. So you have to understand where the money comes from. You have to understand money in the United States and mostly all around the world. It's just debt. It's just debt. And in America, accumulating the debt gives you a tax write-off. So when you sit there and you hear the politicians and everybody saying tax the rich, tax the rich, tax the rich. When they say tax the rich, they know exactly what they're saying. They're saying tax the rich as in, I mean, they might throw some names out there, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos. But what they're saying is tax the rich as the people that make three, four, five, twenty million million, $20 million a year. And then they always, and you see in the news articles, they always try to fudge it and try to co connect wealth with income. Well, the income is not the same thing. So like Elon Musk right now is going through his thing with, uh, they stopped his compensation. But then they, then in a news article, they're talking about, oh, his pay stub is huge. Elon Musk makes less on a paycheck than most of America. The thing is, is he realized I have assets. If you buy assets, you can borrow against the assets and then you have a tax write-off. So you can buy everything you want with borrow money and then you can write it all off in taxes and still show you made no income. You can't, you can only tax income. You can't tax wealth. And no matter how hard they try, and the reason why the politicians won't do it is because they are benefiting from the same things themselves. So they just use that mantra of tax, 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 just to convince you to vote for them. But they're not going to cut their nose off in spite of their face for anybody. But the tax code is set up and the tax code. And I implore people, if they have nothing to do, start reading the tax code. You read the tax code is going to give you every trick and trade that's out there. That's going to tell you, if you do this, you don't have to pay taxes. If you do this, you have to pay less in taxes. If you do this, we'll give you a tax credit. Only thing you got to do is follow what's in the tax code. And then that's what the people with money do. They pay people to read the tax code, understand the tax code, and tell them what to do with their money. That's why you see all these NBA, NFL players, athletes, now they have foundations and charities. They're not doing it out the goodness of their heart. Some of them maybe, but it's because they can write it all off. They could write off their NFL paycheck, say, oh, I donated it to my charity, and then they live through the charity, and then they pay less tax. That's what's going on right in front of your faces. It's not a it's not a secret society. It's happening right in front of your faces, but they just put a hallmark story around it to make you believe you're seeing something that you don't see. I mean, the people that's been around the block, you know, more than a day or two, these superstar athletes, actors and all this, they wasn't this charitable. They didn't have all these foundations back in the day. But once more information came around and then they start getting the knowledge of understanding, hey, this is how the Carnegie's, this is how the Waltons, this is how everybody else doing it. They jumped in on the fund also to keep the money in their pocket. That's all it is. Understand the secrets are right there in plain sight. You just got to embrace what you're hearing and actually do it. No matter how much is contrary to your conscious belief is there. It's up to you to do it. And if you don't, you will still stay in the same system that you've been in. And then the rich will get richer. The poor will get poor. The middle class will shrink uh, further. And the only person to blame is you because you didn't take part in understanding how wealth was created. With all that means said, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one.